One of the many events happening this weekend, we've got Capitol Hill Block Party in studio this morning. The event takes over the Pike Pine Corridor every summer, and this year it's happening from July 21st to the 23rd. And here to give us a preview is one of the bands performing Plastic Picnic. Oh, I can't wait as long as you need. Oh, I'm a useless shell, I'm a Bible in your hotel. No pages turn, and the drawer stays closed. Unless you're ripping it out to roll something up. Well, you just sit there on the bed, waiting for a change. You stand straight through walls again, it's always the same. You'll never miss it till the summer, it's suddenly come on blue. I never wanted that. Soaking wet, indulging pain. Oh, I can't wait as long as you need. I picture backyards late at night when we were 19. But you just sit there on the bed, waiting for a change. Stand straight through walls again. It's always the same. It's always the same. You'll never miss it till the summer. Suddenly come on through. I never wanted that for you. Oh, and now you're falling in December. So here I am. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Emil and Lincoln. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your music. Because when we were talking a little bit earlier, you were saying that it really reflects both where you grew up and then also where you are now in right. New York. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Yeah, well, we all met uh, locally in college up in Bellingham, Washington, and then we graduated and moved to New York to kind of pursue, pursue music. So we wanted our name to reflect some of that juxtaposition, so the plastic is supposed to rec like reflect the mechanics or the artificial kind of things about New York City or a big metropolitan area, and then the picnic is supposed to be kind of a reflection on like the nostalgia of growing up somewhere a little more wholesome and natural and being outdoors and right. all the things that are great about the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. Do you say the same? I yeah. Think they use the word, <laughs> use the word breezy mm -hmm. yeah. and dark, kind of. Yeah, I think our music also is talking about kind of like hardship, but dealing with it in a lighthearted way. And so we kind of like just wanted two things that felt kind of opposing in a way, like a picnic and something plastic, very natural and very artificial. Yeah. Well, tell us about the block party this year. What can attendees expect? We're excited. <laughs> um, I think for us, it's like a lot of uh, getting to see new music. Like we're going to learn about a lot of new bands. Yeah. Um, and it's just uh, always an amazing time. For us, it's like we, this used to kind of be home. And we played it a lot in the past, maybe like three or four times. Um, so it kind of feels like a homecoming for us. But I think it's just like everyone in Seattle is, is just like elated during it. it. It is, and there's that feeling too. We're, we're uh, we had it last year, but with the with COVID, I think the years before where we couldn't have it, it it's gonna I think feel even more exciting to be yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the other bands playing. Um, yeah, there's a couple like local bands that that we're fans of, like uh, Sea Lemon and another band called Acid Tongue that we have history with. And then some of the headliners are great, like Louis the Child and um, Sophie Tucker. Yeah. Um, we're really excited to see a band called Husbands that are playing yeah. um, that we get to play a show with in Wenatchee tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a really good mix of music. And I think 
compared to big, uh, you know, festivals, bigger festivals. Yeah. Not that their names on it aren't big, but it just feels so much more like a part of Seattle community because it really is yeah. a block party. It's I was very gonna ask what the ambiance is like. If, if someone's never gone, is there yeah. maybe something they should, a way they should do the festival, so to speak? Or Drink a lot party. of water and, <laughs> yeah. and see, and, and, and visit the other stages. I mean, it's compared to, uh, like, I think the, the con how condensed it is yeah. really benefits the festival because you can walk 15 feet to, and be in another room and see another band. So yeah, don't stay at the main stage all day. Definitely check in some of the yeah. smaller stages. The opportunity to discover new music yeah. and drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Thank stay you hydrated. so much. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. And just a reminder, Capitol Hill Block Party is happening this coming weekend from July 21st to the 23rd. Head to their website for ticket info.